Mr. Bingley. Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you to our little assembly here. Sir William, I'm very glad to see you. But there's nothing that I love better than a country dance. <laughs> Only two ladies, then, after all. Do you know who they are, Charlotte? Mr. Bingley's sisters, I understand. One of them is married to the gentleman there, a Mr. Hurst. The taller gentleman? Uh, no, the other. Better and better. <laughs> Very elegant. Better pleased with themselves than what they see, I think. Lizzie! Jane! Come here! You see that gentleman there? Lady Lucas has just told me he's Mr. Bingley's oldest friend. His name is Darcy, and he has a mighty fortune and a great estate in Derbyshire. Bingley's wealth is nothing to his. Ten thousand a year at least. Don't you think he's the handsomest man you've ever seen, girls? I wonder if he'd be quite so handsome if he was not quite so rich. <laughs> oh, Lizzie, oh Lord, they're coming over. Smile, girls, smile. Mrs. Bennet, Mr. Bingley has expressed a wish to become acquainted with you and your daughters. Sir, that is very good of you. <laughs> this is Jane, my eldest, and Elizabeth, and Mary sits over there, and Kitty and Lydia, my youngest, you see they're dancing. <laughs> to dance yourself there is nothing I love better madam and if Miss Bennett is not otherwise engaged may I be so bold as to claim the next two dances I'm not engaged sir good you do us great honor sir thank the gentleman Jane Mom. and you sir are you fond of dancing too oh, I beg your pardon Mrs. Bennett may I present my friend Mr. Darcy you are very welcome to Hertfordshire, I am sure, sir. And I hope you have come here eager to dance, as your friend has. Thank you, madam. I rarely dance. Well, let this be one of the occasions, sir, for I wager you'll not easily find such lively music.